from the west. Well, over the last few days, we saw heavy rain, even some heavy snow across the Pennines a day or so ago. Newcastle picking up 74 millimetres of rain in all over the space of a couple of days, and that's way above the April average. So things are pretty soggy here at the moment, and there's going to be some more rain to come over the next day or two. So we could again see perhaps some problems with localised flooding. Here's the rain, this massive cloud moving in from the Atlantic. It's given a wet day already across many western parts of the UK. And that weather front's going to swing in during this evening and overnight, so we're all going to share that rain for a time. But then you see that weather front becoming slow moving across the eastern side of the UK. It's going to be there, really, right the way through to the middle of the week. Becoming weaker all the time. We're not going to see heavy rain from it the whole time. But then as it comes back again, high pressure pushing it out of the way, that should start to settle things down just about everywhere through the second half of the week. So, some rain for all of us in the next couple of days. Midweek onwards, though, sees it turning drier. And I think, by and large, a pretty low risk of frost. The night's not going to be that chilly and the day is getting a little bit milder as well. It's not feeling very mild in the west today though with those strong to gale force winds, heavy rain, more rain to come for Northern Ireland, moving in across western Scotland all the while into the Lake District, across Wales too pretty wet this afternoon and the southwest of England. But we're going to hang on to the dry weather further east, much of eastern England and eastern Scotland staying dry and still some very pleasant sunshine. It's been great for the marathon across the southeast of England and also for East Anglia. Temperatures here around about 13 or 14 degrees. Decidedly chilly further west though under those cloudy skies. And then as I say, that rain's going to start moving eastwards during tonight and into tomorrow quite slowly. So that means most places will see a fair dollop of rain actually through the course of tonight with that rain becoming slow moving across Scotland and many eastern parts of England for tomorrow morning. So a pretty wet start to the day here actually. Brighter skies are following in from the southwest, but uh, accompanied by some fairly heavy April showers, a rumble or two of thunder, certainly not out of the question during the afternoon. And across Northern Ireland too, I think a fairly cloudy and showery day, some brighter skies maybe just nudging into the west of Scotland. Temperatures struggling a bit, particularly near those east coasts, where it stays rather dull, grey and damp, 12 or 13 in brighter parts of the south. Now for Tuesday, there's that weather front still lingering around across the northeast of Scotland, so pretty pretty dull here with uh, still some patchy rain. Most of us though, a brighter day, April showers popping up where temperatures reach 13 or 14 degrees. That's mainly across the southern half of England and Wales with a similar picture into Wednesday. Well, the by then temperatures just edging up a little bit more and with light winds, that should feel quite pleasant. But as the weather front comes back, some patchy rain for any eastern parts of the UK, but then that high pressure building in tending to kill off the front really through Thursday, so most places by then becoming dry. But with winds just drifting in from the east, it will start to feel a little on the cool side, I think. Temperatures 12 or 13 degrees, but by Friday, dry pretty much everywhere with some decent spells of sunshine. That's it. Now back to John in Cheddar. A bit dry and a